Hi everyone and a warm welcome to game number two between Lathans and Fantix. Lathans over on the right in blue is the 8th infantry and then over on the left in red we have Fantix playing as the Unternehmen Zentrum. A bit of a switch around in that he's now the Unternehmen Zentrum. Lathans played that last game. In terms of early units we have one set of scouts for Lathans, no other recon other than these two choppers. At this side we do have some FS Jaeger Metis forward deployment troops up at the front for Charlie and one seemingly going to Delta, oh, near Delta at least. Two commands in for both players by the looks of it. Certainly one there, is there a second one in? Yes there is at the top there. I did see one, I'm not crazy. A10 Thunderbolt trundling across the map there looking for some early kills. A scout will likely spot these vehicles coming down this road. So he might get a couple of early kills. Not seemingly going for the scouts up there. Certainly heading towards the centre. Obviously the centre are an important area to hold right at the start. Here we go. He is engaging. He has missed. He is doing some damage. Fantix paying attention though gets his units out quickly. So it has saved the infantry. Well, the vehicle survived that. I'm actually surprised. I thought that vehicle would have been blown up there. Oh, Thunderbolt now going for this command. First missile missed. Second missile hits its mark. Nice early kill on a command vehicle there. There is another one in though, obviously. But for the moment, Lathans will take the center point. And be uncontested until this vehicle can get up there. Plenty coming in here, though, for Fantix. Fantix, oh, with an Igla on that scout as well. Gets the kill. Thunderbolt coming in for some more kills. Gets a kill on those infantry. He's the MiG-23. He's coming in to deal with it now, though. There's another A-10 Thunderbolt at the back. And a MiG-21 HE coming for it as well. Oh, Thunderbolt getting some shots off at all of these, though. Thunderbolts take a lot of fire, and they dish out a lot of damage. They do have the aim nines. Second Thunderbolt in doing a lot of damage. This will be driving Fantix crazy, I imagine. I would be very <laughs> annoyed at this point. I do not envy him in this situation. Thunderbolts, when you don't have a lot of anti-air are an absolute nightmare. Same as the SU-25s, they can cause so much damage so early on. Loads of infantry reinforcements heading to the center for Lathans. Now, Lathans obviously in a nice position with plus three, has managed to damage or kill quite a few reinforcements that were coming in for Fantix in the center there. Has put him in a slightly better position, and obviously the loss of the command vehicle early on stopped him getting into Charlie with that as well. Is a command coming around the back now, though, from the bottom point that will head towards Charlie. But this Thunderbolt is just picking stuff off left, right, and center. This scout obviously being very, very annoying. This is currently out of Maverick, so can't do a huge amount of damage to these tanks anymore. But will do a little bit of damage with his main cannon. But currently just going around absolutely mincing infantry with that main cannon. Just giving it the burt, burt can't currently see these guys but it won't be long before he can almost in range of that chopper look oh he's going up here for the iglers now the iglers do get a shot off but again these things take so much fire and the iglers don't do a huge amount do they no only four damage me 23 back in going for the kill does not get the kill the Thunderbolt may get the kill. Oh, that MiG-23 is so lucky. I honestly thought the Thunderbolt was going to finish it off there. That is a nasty piece of machinery in this game. So, a rough start for Fantix, in all honesty. I genuinely thought he was going to have an overwhelming force for Charlie, but... Those two Thunderbolts, an early expense for Lathans, certainly paid off. Lots and lots of reinforcements heading towards the center. Not a huge amount at the top here for Lathans. 
not really much coming in either for Fantix there. He is just probing a little bit with the Grenzer. M60's coming in there. Few units certainly being brought up to sort of hold this area for Lathans. He's got quite a bit just sat in here as well. Now this is interesting. Just some maneuvering around the bottom here. And it looks like Fantix is coming out to meet that. I do wonder if this was sort of potentially going to be a bit of probing to see if there was anything here. But Lathans has stopped them going down that road now. More M60s coming in at the top. He's building quite a force here. I'm no longer convinced that this is just a defensive force. I believe with it, this many M60s, he could potentially push here. Command has finally made it in the center for Fantix. It is now neutralized. Good point head start for Lathanzo with 470. A little bit of aggression here from Lathans. Wants to try and push back. But Fantix meeting him. Has managed to kill the M60. Using tanks for good fire support. But there's a lot here from Lathans. It really depends how aggressive Lathans wants to be. Pushing some engineers up around the side here. More reinforcements coming into this area for Fantix as well. And this is one thing you'll notice from both these players. Good spread of reinforcements. They're not always focused on one area. They will make sure they're always bringing in stuff in various places on the map. Artillery piece in there at the back for Lathans. Haven't seen it fire yet. Marker gone down somewhere. I don't know where that Marco. Oh, Marco went down here. Blackhawk arrow rifles coming around the back of this point. I assume that was Fantix spotting it. The book would be in range to shoot it, but I don't think he can see it. I assume this is going to be a swing around. The oh, hang on. Jet's coming in to take it out. Easily dealt with. Easily dealt with. I wasn't even sure he could see that, to be honest. But the arrow rifles magically appear on the ground with two of them remaining just because they survived falling out of an exploding chopper mid-air over a forest. I still, It still bothers me that uh, infantry can survive when a helicopter is destroyed. I, I don't think that should be a thing. I still think that if they die, they die. You know, If they're in a chopper and they get caught out, there shouldn't be any survivors. Not from when it's in mid-air. Military police coming in there, engineers. And that's a game mechanic, by the way, not me saying anything against Latha. Uh, marker going down there against the book by Lathans. Oh no, it went against the Motostrokey BMP. Is that what this is going to fire at? I see it targeting... No, no, it's firing at the middle. It's firing at where the command must be. Lathans with a lot in the middle right now. Well, as it stands, it's feeling as though Lathans is in a slightly stronger position. But that means nothing in this game. Everything can turn around. T-80's coming in up here. T-80, T-64 as well, sorry. Where is it going? It is heading to the center. Good artillery strikes here from Lathans. We'll make short work of that little command vehicle. Fantix managing to keep it in the point, though. Just looking at the line of sight on these units. Itor shooting at that empty truck. I don't know if that's just to try and reveal where things are or waste some ammo. 
No artillery in yet for Fantix. Both players being quite methodical at the moment. Taking their time with their decisions. Building up forces where necessary. Plenty coming in at the bottom for Lathans, but he's not leaving the top ignored as well. He is bringing stuff up there. T64 coming to the centre too. Book coming under fire there. Oh no, it's the Metis that are coming under fire. All these units can now fire at the Metis though. They are in range of the scouts. Better position now in the building. Can fire back, but there's a lot of enemy units there, so the Metis are going to get ripped apart. Well, Stralky BMP got ripped apart up here for the same reason. They were just simply surrounded and there were engineers there as well. This is a problem. Still remaining with one unit left. And oh dear. Oh dear. Lathans captures the munitions vehicle and is now getting a full repair on those aero rifles. That is... Some jammy, jammy shit. Oh, man. That's pure, pure chance and luck that that happens. But, uh, yeah, he will be pleased with that. I would be. Pioneers arriving now, though. Oh, it's a Burrettino. It's a Burrettino. Buratino has not been seen by Lathan's arrow rifle, so Lathan's doesn't know this is coming in. Lathan's is making a move here, though, into Delta. Huge amount of forces is pushing across here. Obviously, not a lot to stop him from the side of uh, Fantix right now. He is calling in reinforcements. Not much movement up this way. Few units just pushing that way from Lathan's. Lathan's continuing to look pretty secure here. Infantry dealt with. No more arrow rifles, but this is a big force moving in here, including some Abrams. Book under pressure. T-55 under pressure, but doing some damage. Chopper coming in will be a good defense here. Where's the nearest anti air? There's an Ihawk back here and a Stinger here. Stinger will put pressure on that chopper, but the chopper, as long as it stays further back, will be damaging to these infantry and stuff. There's a lot of stuff clustered here. Where is that Burrettino? It's here. What's the range on the Burrettino? Almost there. 3,500. This Burrettino could be devastating here depending if it's used for that purpose. I'm a little bit worried how close it's getting to those units now. Very worried how close it's getting to those units now. Oh, HE Bomber came in, unfortunately, immediately smacked by that Ihawk. MI-24 doing a good job. Fandex realized the mistake with that Buratino and is moving it back. Almost, it's in that forest though. It is very close to those military police. This is what I'm worried about for that poor Buratino. The military police there would easily kill it. Chopper doing an amazing job here for Fantix though. Doing a lot of damage. Little bit of movement here from Lathans as well. Keeping the pressure up on this middle point. So some skirmishing going on there, but the excitement is definitely down here. A command waiting to be pushed into this point as well. Lathans with a foothold in that corner. I'm just watching that Buratino. It's not under direct threat anymore, which is good. Artillery coming in against the... Ooh! Artillery was coming in against the Buratino. I guess it was seen by the scouts going in there. Loads of stingers coming in now. Something to deal with that chopper. Another HE bomber coming in. Going for the Chaparral. Chaparral takes a lot of damage, but 
HE Bomber is immediately killed by IHawk and three Chaparrals that are there, and the Stinger that's there, and the four Stingers that are arriving. Oh, two of them have gone in the middle, I apologise. It's just another two arriving down here. Lathans has a good combined arms force here. What is that Buratino doing? I'm really curious what he's doing with this Buratino. Good push going on here from Lathans as well, while also doing a push here. And this is something we've seen before from Lathans. He is very, very capable of pushing multiple areas of the map at once and maintaining control. Fantix, also a good player, is managing at the moment to defend, but is slowly being pushed back in his points. Buratino is firing at something. It's going for the command here. Two Thunderbolts on the way in. I assume going. they could be going for the Buratino and they could also be going for the T-80. Engineer is rushing towards that Buratino now. Thunderbolts taking fire from the book. Thunderbolt survives. MI-24 will go down. Book is out of ammo. Buratino is taking fire. Book over here, get some shots off. MiG-23 takes out the A-10. MiG-23 taking fire from the I-Hawk and Stingers, though. Takes a shot from the I-Hawk and is finished off by a Stinger, by the looks of it. Ouch. Poor Fantix is losing a lot of aircraft this game. Command in here now to... At least neutralize that point. Still plus one currently to Fantix. Because he is now in complete control of the center after killing that CV. But Lathans comfortably ahead at 671 points. As we near the halfway mark of this game. 40 minutes max. Lathan's bringing in quite a number of Abrams by the looks of it there. Oh no, some of them are definitely M60s. Two Abrams, two M60s. I thought he just brought in four Abrams, which is an expensive outlay. Still some units coming in at the top there, heading towards the centre for Fantix. He hasn't forgotten about that. Lathan's did lose quite a few units in the centre there. Just as, you know, Fantix has lost quite a few as well. But the little assault there seems to have been held. Or held off against by uh, Fantix. Artillery piece just at the back there. Still managing to get some pot shots off at things. Still a good group of units in here for Lathans. He's maintaining control of that corner at this point. He's managing to kill plenty of the stuff that Fantix is bringing in there. All these reinforcements going to the middle right now. Another command coming in for the middle. Bradley going to the middle. And all of this. Oh, a bit of a split. Some going to the middle, some going to the bottom. Buratino all the way up here. Lots of supplies being called in for that Buratino now. Engineers being chased down by an SPW-70 in the Pioneers. But we're now into a, a slowed down period again. We've had that rush of excitement where Lathans did his pushes. And now we're sort of having a little build up of forces. As I say, this game feeling a lot more slower pace, a lot more methodical for the most part. While each player thinks about what their next steps are and building up forces. And it's nice to see that contrast in Warno sometimes. That you can have these very aggressive games where everybody's pushing constantly and there's a lot of back and forth. And then other times you have everything that's a little bit more taking your time, building up forces, doing a, you know, combined forces push like Lathans did there on multiple points. Just shows that there are multiple ways to play the game. So if one method isn't your style of play, you can play it differently. Fantex doing a good job with the T-80 down in this point, managing to pick off various 
units from Lathans will likely kill this command. He'll be happy with that. Lathans currently plus two, but will now go back to being neutralized. Artillery being used against this machine gunner now. T-80 nicely positioned there to hit the incoming units. Still quite a bit up here, including an Abrams for Lathans, though. He still has some control there. Buratino is preparing to fire on the center of the map here. Right on top of all these tanks. It takes a while to aim, though, but this could be devastating. The Buratino, unlike Wargame, does damage to everything. It's considered thermobaric. Lathans may be far enough out of the way, though. Oh, no, he's moving his stuff... This might be very damaging, depending on how these hit. Yeah, he is absolutely melting those tanks. Oh, my word. That's it. That That is Lathan's push there, gone. From one barrage from the Burtino. I mean... I was going to say, in war game, the Burtino is a flamethrower artillery piece. It melts infantry and leaves napalm everywhere. In this, they made it a thermobaric launcher, so it just does damage to everything. Its HE damage is 3.3, which is very high. If we compare that to these artillery pieces at the back here, 3.1. So you've got multiple rockets all hitting in quick succession. And reasonably accurately... You know, and then you've got artillery that does less damage. Comes in slower. He is trying to hit that Buratino, but unless he gets a really good hit, it should be okay. But the Buratino, absolutely devastating in Warner when used correctly. Some may say a little bit too powerful at times. But most of Lathan's forces down here now, obviously cleaned up as well by Fantix while we were watching the middle there. T80 being quite aggressive here, pushed up a little bit too far, got a little bit carried away and took some shots from the Abrams. Is now being retreated. But reinforcements will be on the way in. Bertino survives with minimal damage, obviously has plenty of supply trucks around it. T-80 will get out intact. Lathan's still comfortably ahead in points at 739. We've just gone past the 17 minutes left of the game. Cannon Jagdpanzer is coming in. Not something you see very often in this game. Going towards the middle. I suspect Lathan's won't be doing another push on this point anytime soon. All this stuff heading towards the center. A few units coming down here. Some recon, Ito. Lafon's not wanting to leave Echo undefended, obviously, as there's certainly a possibility of Fantix doing a push from Delta into Echo. He is moving up his Alf Clara to have a look. We'll be coming up against those military police that do still have the recallless rifle available. T-80 is pushing up to assist against that, though. Laying down plenty of fire. Obviously, the machine guns do make a difference here. And they're not a big squad, the military police. Pantex with a little bit of free roam up here now. Nothing stopping him moving up. Obviously, reinforcements are coming in to this area for Lathans, though. Lathan's still making good use of that artillery. A little attack beacon went down there. What is he attacking now? He's firing at the back of the point. You will note that the command has been moved out of there. And is currently being moved back in. Points currently plus three to Fantex. I'm really curious. Oh. Fantex is probably about to get a kill here. It's not quite reloaded. 
So it didn't fire yet. It's still reloading at 99%, but I wonder if it's pre-aimed. It has pre-aimed. And as soon as the loading was done, off it goes. That command is doomed. It'll be very lucky to survive this. No, there it goes. Surely it's dead. Yeah. Command dead. Back to plus three. Four Fantix. And the one action of bringing in that Buratino has changed the course of this game. Do you see what I say about everything can change in this game? Sometimes you can think at the start, oh, one player's definitely got this. They're so far ahead. No, no, no. One mistake, one really good maneuver from your opponent, and it can change the game completely. And it's not that you're a bad player in any way, shape, or form that that happens. You just got one upped on that one occasion. And on this occasion, it's the Buratino that's done the job. I think killing all of those tanks in the middle and that push that was going there just made a huge difference because Lathans would have had that point to himself. I don't think anything that Fantex had was going to stop that at that moment in time. But the Buratino did it. Our rifle's moving in as well now. Sneaky, sneaky, command infantry down the bottom here. Sneaky, sneaky, command infantry at the top. Fanex is going to try and slip round the back and get command infantry into both Echo and also up here. Cannon Yagpans is moving into position here. I think the T-80 that was down here was killed probably by the Ito in the middle there. Cannon Jagdpanzer will possibly kill this commander. I don't know if Lathans realises it's a commander down there. I expect that just auto-fired. This has got round the back unscathed. We'll be dropped off here, so we'll certainly get into the back of Alpha. I don't think Lathans has seen that. No. It's not within visible range of any of his units there. Reinforcements are coming in to go to the front lines here. I think Lathans is trying to do a push up here now to keep the pressure on. Still with a lot of units in the middle. Command coming in at the back there for him. He is making a push across here using those cannon Yagpans as a very good little unit. Can be very effective at doing damage. Oh, Ito gets a nice hit on the Motostralki in the BMP there. Killing both the squad and the vehicle. And may get a kill on this one as well. Oh! A couple of medium-priced losses there for Fantex in quick succession. With a good push coming in the center now from Lathans. All those units pushing up. I'm waiting for the Bertino fire. It's sat there. Here it comes. Taking aim now. Oh, oh, oh! Buratino is wiped out by the A-10 Thunderbolt. Lathans will be delighted with that. That is an expensive unit. And it's been causing him all kinds of problems. Okay, the Air Commander pushing into Alpha from here now. This command down here definitely wasn't spotted by Lathans then. So it probably will get in the back at this point And will take it. As there's no command in there. There is a command in here. So this will only neutralize when it moves in. Fantex has managed to hold at the top here. The little pushing force that was sort of going this way from Lathans has been held off. Reinforcements are arriving though, including some of these arrow rifles going towards the middle. Lathans in a good position once more. Plus three has taken control of that center point. And there's no artillery piece to stop him this time. There's a guided bomber coming in as well. N not sure if it's targeting anything yet. Thunderbolt's also on station. And the F-16. Lathans has a good amount of stuff in the middle now. All pushed to this side. Is that a laser guided bomb going in? Yes it was. Laser guided bomb on the infantry there. Could be used to good effect. Getting some shots off on these planes as they go over. Laser guided bomb coming in again. 
dropping on that tank, I think. Dropped next to the tank. Didn't actually get the kill. Laser guided bomber is dead. A10 got out, I think. Command moved in very briefly. The KDA commander moved in and then moved out. Obviously, Lathan's now aware it's there in the corner. This one almost in position. Currently still plus one to Lathan's, though. Nine minutes to go in this game. Fandex has a lot of points to make up. Chopper's being called in to deal with that command there. Command being pushed in here. BMP-1 sneakily coming around the back here, but there is an Abrams waiting for it. Definitely feels once again like Fantix has ended up on the back foot slightly. Plus one now to Fantix. Plus three to Fantix for the complete capture of Echo. Points now ticking up nicely. These guys don't have any anti-tanks, so the Cannon Yag Panzers will cause issues. This command at the back doing its job, but will be under fire very shortly. Lathan's in a really good position in the centre, though. Has managed to push Fantix all the way back. Ito getting some shots off at that T-80 there. It feels quite tense right now. Fantix can definitely make points up by holding the two back points. Cannon Jagdpanzers being manoeuvred and a Cobra coming in to deal with this command infantry now. Command infantry at the top of the map dead. Still plus one, two. Oh. Straight back. Going to be plus three again in a moment to Lathans. There it goes. Okay, dear commander being rushed out of the uh, point and back into the forest to keep it alive. Lots of tanks coming in. T-55s here. Lathans once again racking up those points. About to pass the halfway mark. Right now it feels as though Lafans is in a stronger position on the map. But there's a lot of stuff still here. But he's managing to keep the pressure on these tanks with the Itos. Thunderbolt may die here. It is dead. Thunderbolts have been a real nuisance for Fantix this game. T-64 command tank coming in here. I assume aiming to go in the middle. Fantix doing a bit of a push here. Got some pioneers and some tanks here. Pushing back against Lathan's units. Biggest threat here being the Itos. Against these tanks. But if he's got enough tanks he can do a lot of damage. These guys got repaired at the back. We'll be able to lay down some fire. Having to smoke. But these T-55s now getting plenty of shots off here. This Ito will open fire on the T-55s though. No. Open fire on the T-64. Which is backed off into its smoke. Ito will die here. Our rifles pushing around the back here. UAZ will soon have eyes on that. Cobra's coming in there. Currently, the middle point is back in the hands of uh, Fantix. He did have his commander in there. Obviously, Lathan's moved his commander down the bottom here to take this point back. Where is his commander? Commander being moved down from the top. At some point, Lathan's commander died in this area. I have no idea how, but it was killed. Good artillery fire on here, trying to kill 
Fantix is commander, but Fantix, racking up points, plus three currently, with five minutes left to go, has whittled down a lot of Lathan's forces in the middle. Good use of the laser guided bombs there. Didn't actually get any kills, I don't think, though. Just stunned everything. Command in this corner for Lathans. T64 command tank coming in now as well. Command back in the bottom here. Plus four. Fighting Falcon coming in to fire at those infantry. I mean, they're going to die, but it's currently plus four, and it's added to Fantex's points a lot, and he's still in control of that point. And I'm sat here quietly thinking to myself, is Lathans out of commands? Is Lathans out of commanders? He's got his command in the middle there, which he cannot move. He needs another command to take this bottom point back. If he's out of commands, that's game over. He is moving the command out of the centre to take this point back, which will mean it's currently plus seven. He will take this point at the bottom back, which will make it plus three still to Fantix. Fantix will push past Lathans in points here. The question is, can Lathans kill the command and take the centre point? And the answer is no, because even if he kills the command infantry, there's a command tank there. So I don't think he can do it. Back to plus three. Fanlix is ahead. And through some very careful manoeuvring with his commanders. And some really good play in the middle from both players. Fanlix is going to take it and it's going to be on points. But they've both played extremely well this game. Extremely hard fought in multiple areas of the map. But Fanex is going to do it. I'm not seeing any more commands from Lathans. He's got this command here, which he's going to push back into Delta. But with two minutes left to go. It's a good force here. He is going to go back into Delta. No question about that. But there's just over two minutes left of this game. I'm not sure he has enough time to get enough points to do this. And the command's in the back here for Fantix anyway. So he can only neutralise this. He will only take this to plus one for Fantix. Lathans must be out of commands. He might let us know in the comments, but I assume he's out of commands here. And Fantix will take the game. With just over one and a half minutes left on points. But this has been an incredibly hard fought game. And both players have played exceptionally well. And it's been one of those games where because it's been a little bit slower. Because there's been a little bit of time to build up. You can really appreciate the planning and the thought that has gone into the maneuvers they've done. And there's the surrender. Commiserations, Lathans. Look at how close the kills and losses were in that game. But you cannot fault Fantix. Fantastic play with your commanders at the end, getting into those two points. Really made all the difference. And then the pushback in the middle as well. And the Buratino, I mean. He has his name as Buratino rules the world. Let's let's have a look at how many kills that Buratino got, shall we? MI24 did a good job there. T64 BV, obviously. T80, obviously. But look at that Buratino. Two M1 Abrams, two M60s in the middle. A command... Two command vehicles. I mean, the Buratino paid for itself many times over. Absolutely fantastic job. T80 also doing an amazing job.
What a game. What a tense game, especially at the end. And sometimes it doesn't have to be that huge buzz of excitement for it to be tense. That was just genuinely a on the edge of my seat, staring at the screen, wondering what was going to happen. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> the Thunderbolts that came out early game and the amount of kills they got through the game. They did an amazing job. Oh, I would have been raging at those things. Ito did a good job as well. Abrams, as expected, did a good job. Abrams, again, doing a really good job. Ito, Thunderbolt, again. I mean, I'm torn between giving MVP to the Buratino or one of the A-10s, because the A-10s were absolutely devastating. I mean, don't get me wrong. The tanks always do well. But it, it's nice when a different unit stands out so much. Absolutely fantastic game. I really enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more casts and more Warner content. As we head towards release of the game, hopefully we'll be getting access to all the single-player stuff eventually. And then we can do loads of videos on that as well. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all soon.